Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at how to display a symbol conditionally using the if function. And specifically in this tutorial, we want to show the thumbs up or thumbs down symbol in this status column, dependent upon whether the sales of these products have equaled or improved since last month. So a thumbs up if they have, a thumbs up if they haven't. But we are going to cover how you can insert any symbol, not just the ones shown during this video. Now over on the right hand side of the sheet, I've just put some example symbols at the moment because I want to have a chat about how we're going to do this. Now you may already know that you can click the insert tab and you have symbol on the far right how you can insert you know, a vast array of symbols onto a worksheet but how are you going to get the if function to do it now to demonstrate this I've already inserted some symbols here I've got a smiley face, an hourglass, an aeroplane and importantly for us the thumbs up thumbs down icons now if I select those symbols these are all currently from the like Wingdings library in that symbol area. So they're a Wingdings font. Uh, you may have something that's not, not in Wingdings, maybe one of the other libraries. But this is what these are. And I'm going to change the format to my normal written font. And on this spreadsheet, it's using Calibri. So I'll change it to Calibri. And by doing that, it shows me the letter or number being used in the as it looks like in a written font. So what that means to us is that if we get the if function to display those letters or numbers, so in this example a C for thumbs up, a D for thumbs down, then I can format the status column in Wingdings and it would appear as a thumbs up, thumbs down. Notice that the, uh, I believe it was the hourglass is number six, the smiley face is a J, and um, what was that? The aeroplane is a Q there. So there's just a few other examples. You can insert any symbol onto your worksheet. Insert symbol. Find the one you wish from this vast list and uh, the other kind of character sets you have and stuff. And then you can format them and see what the underlying letter or number is. Okay, so it's C thumbs up, D thumbs down. Let's get an if function going in cell d2 equals if opening bracket logical test right well that is going to be if this month's value is greater than or equals last month's value which would be c2 greater than or equals b2 comma value if true display c put them inside some inverted commas there uh, capital c that is the thumbs up symbol comma thumbs down symbol that was a d if i remember rightly close bracket and enter got a c there because they did improve let's copy this down we have a we have another improvement we have someone who didn't another improvement someone who did uh, didn't sorry uh, so a multitude of c's and d's well that's what it looks like in the calibri font anyway let's highlight those cells home tab font drop down let me go find my wingdings font should be down the bottom here naturally and here we have it now we've got thumbs up and thumbs down and if i was going to change one of those values if i decrease the value for this month product a it changes to a down arrow let me undo that i don't really want a down arrow there <laughs> Just, let's keep this positive now a little bonus here, I'm going to add to that. I'm going to show the thumbs up in green and the thumbs down in red to really bring more clarity, a greater wow factor to my spreadsheet. I'm going to highlight those cells. Conditional formatting is what I want on the home tab. Highlight cells rules equal to C. That's the thumbs up. You can see in the background it taking shape. I don't want red though, so I'm going to change that 
I'm going for custom format and I'm going to uh, say bold as well I'm going to have a nice green okay that and go straight in there so I want to do the same thing for D which is going to be a red I've got a red text there shall I do that one I want bold as well though don't I let's go custom format bold and red and here we go check that out <laughs> can really add that little extra factor to your spreadsheets your reports your dashboards whatever may be using any symbol you can use so there may be something quite relevant to what your spreadsheet talking about if we're talking about phone calls or we're talking about sales you know money talking about change there may be some kind of symbol that represents it nicely and adds you know that notable extra touch uh, to it brings clarity to your data visualization that's what we want uh, so this is what we've done in this example thumbs up thumbs down i hope you found this tutorial useful please check out some of our other tips and tricks at computergaga.com or right here on our youtube channel